Today we're talking about the All-Star Game. It's changed. Some fans recall Pete Rose barreling into Ray Fossey in the bottom of the 12th of the 1970 All-Star Game. Those days may have been fun for the fans, but they're over. There were reasons the All-Star Game used to be so intense. First, the AL and NL teams never played each other, except in the All-Star Game and the World Series. So it was a big face-off. The leagues had separate identities, and you rarely saw players from the other league play. There was no MLB TV where you could watch any game. If you lived in a city with an AL team, you only saw other AL teams, vice versa for the NL. The All-Star Game was a mid-season showdown where we saw players from the other league that we had only read about in the sporting news or seen on the Saturday game of the week. So why does it feel like a fancy scrimmage now? We have interleague play, so the matchup is less exciting. We have homogenized leagues, and we have a lot of money. Players sign huge contracts these days. The All-Star Game is an exhibition game, and players don't want to be hurt. They're not going to risk $100 million to win it. You can hearken back to the disaster tie game of 2002 and say, Managers ought to manage like it's a real game and not an exhibition game. But managers aren't going to gamble with another manager's player. So what can we do to make the All-Star Game more compelling? Nothing, except it for what it is, mid-season entertainment. Times have changed. I'm Kelly Franco-Troop, and that's your three-inning minute.